Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Information Overload. And we have some really exciting news for all you Hitman fans out there. Some news that I don't think anybody has talked about yet. And that is that Hitman 3 has a deluxe physical edition available for pre-order right now. On top of that, there has been a... I guess you'd call it like a leak of an update on the PS4 to PS5 free upgrade side of things. Before we hop into it, go ahead, do me a huge favor, smack that like button, hit subscribe, ding the notification bell if you want to be notified as soon as these videos come up, and let's get rolling. So, the first thing to talk about is the physical edition of Hitman 3, and in this case, there is only one physical edition that I've seen available that's for the deluxe edition. So up to this point there has been no news of a physical edition at all. And there's also been no news of next gen upgrades since way back in August. And the updates in August claimed that only digital editions would get the PS4 to PS5 upgrade. Even the IO website itself still says that, but there is now a leak that seems to say otherwise. So Limited Run Games as of right now has a Hitman 3 physical edition of the deluxe edition of the game for pre-order for PS4, PS5, and Xbox One slash Series X. Right now there is no PC edition listed, but that shouldn't be too surprising. Most PC games nowadays, if anything, you know it's a box with a code in it. So it shouldn't be too surprising or really be too heartbreaking for any Hitman fans on the PC end of things. For pricing, since this is the deluxe version, it does come in at $80. And for me, it was about $10 added on to that for tax and shipping. So about $90 for this deluxe edition. So let's go ahead and talk about what this deluxe edition includes. First off, it includes the Agent 47 Passport, and that's a limited run games exclusive. It seems to be a physical item as they haven't implied at any point on the website that it is digital. So I'm guessing that the Passport is a physical product, a little collector piece, and that's gonna be great for any Hitman fans out there since this is a limited run games exclusive. On top of that, just like the digital deluxe edition is going to include our Escalation contracts which will be released over time. Some will be released at the release of the game, others throughout the course of probably that year. From there we also have suits and items, some of which are iconic from prior titles. The one that sticks out the most to me is probably the gold devil suit with mask from A Dance with the Devil from Hitman Blood Money. That's such an iconic mission, an iconic outfit I would say as well. From there we also get the Trinity pack which are three suits, one white, one red, and one black, all meant to represent the World of Assassination trilogy, so this sort of soft reboot or it does continue, it seems like, from the previous games, from the older ones, but um, from like Hitman 1, Hitman 2, and Hitman 3, the most recent ones, that's where those suits are coming from and being based off of. It also comes with a white, red, and black version of, it looks like, the Silver Baller pistols, as well as his iconic briefcase. From there we have a digital soundtrack and a digital World of Hitman book, I'm guessing like an art book for the game. And then there's also a director commentary. Now that doesn't say digital either, so just like the Passport, I'm assuming that that might be a physical actually, which is pretty cool. When you scroll down on the page, you can see that it says free next gen upgrade. And this is a physical copy of the game, so that's what really stuck out to me, because like I said before, back in August when we heard about a free upgrade, it was only for the digital copy. But here, it does say free next-gen upgrade for the physical edition. It confirms no need to purchase PS4 and PS5 version, and that we can just insert the disc and get the free upgrade. So that is massive that is huge news for anyone that wanted this game but may not upgrade to the ps5 immediately that's where i find myself personally i still have a ton of ps4 games so i'm gonna hold off a bit hopefully the price will come down and so i went ahead i bought this on ps4 
eventually down the road when I get a PS5. Hopefully it will upgrade like it says on the website. The other interesting thing is that the PS5 page doesn't actually list PSVR and neither does the box art. We can compare the two here. You can see that the box art for PS4 shows that it includes the VR mode and it has a little picture of the PSVR headset so you know that it does function with the VR headset. PS5 doesn't show that on the box however I'm guessing that that's just a fluke or maybe it's just that they can't confirm that the PS5 is going to support Hitman VR but that seems a little weird to me. The PSVR has been confirmed to work with PS5 so I'm guessing it's either a fluke or just they didn't feel comfortable you know saying that on their page because maybe it's not confirmed for Hitman specifically on PS5. Anyways that about wraps it up so if you're a Hitman fan this is great news if you're a physical collector of Hitman games this is great because we didn't know if we were getting a physical edition to be honest and we definitely didn't know if we were getting a physical edition of the deluxe edition of the game. On top of that if you were somebody who's not getting the PS5 immediately but loves Hitman you can now get the PS4 edition of Hitman and upgrade for free with the PS5 as long as you get the PS5 with the disc. If you get the all digital then definitely stay away from this if that upgrade matters to you. Get the digital edition so then you can upgrade on that system. Obviously if you don't have the disc drive then that free upgrade from this physical copy isn't really going to mean jack shit to you. So keep that in mind. Anyways though if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please do leave a like subscribe I highly appreciate it and let me know your thoughts in the comments below are you gonna order this off limited run games are you gonna wait and try to see if it comes from maybe Best Buy as well or Target because I know limited run games can ship things very slowly even on the website it does say four or five months after the initial release so it's definitely a bit of a wait but let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Also, how long have you been playing Hitman? What was your first Hitman game? You know, let's get a Hitman discussion going in the comments section. Me personally, I started with Hitman 2, but my favorite Hitman was probably Hitman Blood Money. And Hitman Contracts was probably my most nostalgic because that's one of the first games I remember renting from a blockbuster. So if any of you out there remember blockbuster what it is and have ever been in one and rented a movie or game from one you know what I mean at this point you know we have Redbox and streaming services blockbuster is long gone but definitely hit some nostalgia points there for me but anyways I'll wrap it up with that and I will see you guys next time